Barcelona is located on the Costa Brava in Spain. It is a large city generating a lot of tourist attraction with its landmarks and nice weather during the summer. In the 19th century the city coped with a housing problem due to the limitation of space within the city walls. Outside of these old walls nothing was built because of military regulations. Due to the lack of space in the old city center the streets were narrow and dense. There was poor hygiene, bad ventilation and low health quality overall. An outburst of cholera in 1854 was enough motivation for the Spanish government to allow for expansion outside of the city walls. Through a design competition, this expansion was done with a plan of Ildefonso Cerda Sune. The plan was called Echamp, which translates into extension or enlargement. This project is arguably the most important housing project in Barcelona to date. Goals were to create equality and improve life quality overall with more space, while still preserving density. This resulted in a proposed design with repetitive urban blocks called Manzana. Suner was one of the first to implement such a grid system in spatial planning. In these blocks, more space for hygiene, ventilation and sunlight were present. By 18 97. After 38 years of construction, the plan was finished. It is now a great example of spatial planning with a clear construction design and it is the most populated district of Barcelona. The design of the Manzanas was purposely built with 45 degree angles to allow for future transport in the form of trams which were not realized. Some other things that Suner planned for that were not executed are for example that every manzana was planned to include a central garden. These blocks are now mostly enclosed by four walls. This was done because of the lack of profitability in having a central garden. To tackle the lack of public space in the neighborhood, foundation Pro Echample de Barcelona was founded. Here, plans are made to restore some of Suner's original ideas by for example creating gardens in one of every nine manzanas. Furthermore, one-way street designs are now being implemented to reduce overall traffic pollution with a new essence on noise and greenhouse gas pollution. Both these projects enhance quality of life in the district ever more. Were it that Serda Suner's plans were actually completely executed from the beginning without an eye on profit, Aixample would have been a district even more ahead of its time, in line with urban renewal projects of today.